What's up, Kaji family? This guy's on the show, 1090. So, on to you today with a brand new review. And today, we're going to talk about a little, a little, something a little bit older. I've been coming out with all these interesting releases this year so far. I wanted to go, I wanted to have another throwback. Go back to the year 2012, where we're going to be talking about the 30 centimeter X Plus 1968 Godzilla. So. As I explained in my 1975 review of, of the Monster Makers 28 Godzilla, and how that Godzilla basically defined my childhood, this guy was probably number two, honestly. And, well, actually, really, number one had to be Godzilla vs. Megalon, obviously. So, so 73 Goji had to be the one that really defined my childhood. But 75 is my, fav is my favorite su superhero Godzilla suit. But again, and this again, this would be number two in that, because honestly, this suit had, is some is in some of my favorite movies, Godzilla vs. Gigan, Godzilla vs. Dora, both of my top ten. No, I don't love Godzilla's Revenge or Destroy All Monsters, but you know what? Whatever. This suit here is absolutely incredible, and this figure itself is incredible. Yeah, from what I from what, from from my understanding, this is the Diamond V issue. So this, so this one, the one that I have actually came out in 2014. And I'm sorry, the original release was 2010, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to have to fact, my, fact check myself on that. I'll probably talk about that at the latter end of this video to get the exact date of when this bad boy came out. But if you remember, or if you don't, if you don't know, this actually also came from a Monster Makers 28 kit, which kind of explains why this older figure has so much incredible details especially for figures coming back coming out back then i uh, y'all know that i do have that the, the 62 and the 64 as well which both of those are absolutely phenomenal scopes also and this one's is on par with those it's ridiculous how good this figure looks even now and this is really a figure i've really been fighting myself on getting for a while um for a while it was on my grill list then it fell out of my grill list, and then it just happened to come up one day um, for 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 a fairly decent price. And I had and I had I had to snag it. I had to I had to do it. I finally just bit the bullet, pulled the trigger, and boom! I got the 1968 Godzilla. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been having way too much fun with this guy, honestly. Um, there's a whole bunch of photo shoots I've already put up. Some more I'm probably gonna peel up after this video is done. Like I, this thing is just so gosh dang photogenic. Like I wasn't expecting to like this figure as much as I did. But I, I get why this was a grow for me when I first started Xbox collecting. Now, like I I get it. I understand why it was a grow for me. But it doesn't matter. If I understand it. Let's make sure y'all understand it. Let me get a go ahead and get my up, do my up close and personal on this beautiful wonderful figure and we'll get um, get started on that right now thank you and here is the 1968 30 centimeter godzilla from the monster makers 28 kit <sighs> this really is a gorgeous figure it's incredible um like i like i previously said the uh the 68 suit is is one of the suits i did go up uh watching when i was a kid so actually being able to have this in my collection is is extraordinary but as you see here on the face they have they make sure they put a lot of details in the face the teeth the tongue the the tongue of course bone white teeth nice pink tongue the eyes are really elaborate you can really see guys with his eyes in here i really do love that they did that to me, that looks incredible. Of course, you know, we got regular char uh, charcoal gray, charcoal black skin. Nothing new there. Also, the bone, bone white on the, on, the, on the claws, obviously. We go down a little bit more. Uh, get, we'll continue, of course, continue with the charcoal black skin and also the, bo the bone yellow toenails. Bone white, bone, ye bone yellow. Um, it's a little bit of both. It's, it's an interesting color, but it really is accurate to, to the way the 68 looks. Of course, uh, with Godzilla's dorsal plates, they are going to be uh, a bone. That That's definitely a bone white with some gray in the middle, of course, as that Godzilla does. And one of my favorite things that I that don't get talked about enough is Godzilla's, the 
the flat tail. I don't know why I love flat tail Godzilla. The way I feel about uh, flat tail Godzilla is the way I feel about capes. I absolutely love them. I don't know why. Even though it does take up uh, space on the shelf, it, I'm fine with it because I really do like when Godzilla has a flat tail like this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't need his tail super elaborate like on my Shin Godzilla or, on, or any of my other Godzilla figures. If this is a flat tail like this, I'm honestly happy with it. And of course, you can see that this figure does have so many different ways you can pose him too, which is something I really do like about this Godzilla as well. Because his, fa he, he's kinda, his face is kind of leaning in a little bit, so he looks kind of different in two different directions. And that's probably one of my favorite things about this Godzilla. I can have kind of a different look, different look to him in each photo shoot I do. Makes it a little bit harder for straight on shoots, but that's okay because on either side you can have a dynamically different look to this Godzilla. And of course, we have to have my first size comparison with his best friend Angiris. As you see here, he, him, and Angiris do size up perfectly together. I love it. Just look, look at this. Can't ask for anything better than Godzilla and his best friend. This is awesome. It's incredible. Completely size accurate. I cannot wait to get photo shots of these. Photo shoot, do the, I'm sorry to do photo shoots of these. I've already done. I think I I did do my Godzilla and Guy Game one as this video is being released. But I do want to do a few more things. Maybe kind of a destroy all monsters kind of photo shoot as well. Even though y'all know how I feel about that movie, I'm still going to respect it and give it a proper photo shoot. And of course, this has to be in that photo shoot as well. Of course, y'all know this is the 19, 1964 Rodan. And of course, you know, Rodan and Godzilla do pretty much stand completely eye to eye. Rodan's a little bit bigger than Godzilla, as you see here. But they both are supposed to be uh, 30, centime 30 centimeter figures. Well, they both are 30 centimeter figures, and they're both supposed to be 50 meters in the movie. So they pretty much size up almost perfectly. Well, there's a smidget bigger, but I mean, I'm not going to nitpick, honestly. Especially since Destroy All Monsters, we didn't see Rodan on the ground that, that much. So who knows if he still st can stand up next to Godzilla like this. But I thought this was a nice picture. And I always did wonder whether Rodan to Seth again try to fight Godzilla again. I think that'd be a fun fight. And of course, y'all know we had to get a shoot shot with Gigan. Now, of course, y'all know Gigan is supposed to be a little bit bigger than Godzilla. And y'all see how short Gigan is compared to Godzilla. But nothing some photo magic can't fix. So even though this Rodan is a shorty. I do still have, enjoy having this uh, Rodan. I'm sorry. Having this guy again in my collection. He is a little bit too. He is too short even for the 68 Godzilla. So yeah, I got to do is just pop up a little bit. Just, just like, that's it. This this is this a tidbit. Maybe a phone book or something <laughs> can pop him up enough. But I still think they look cool together. Like I said, I can work my magic so they actually look pretty, look size accurate in pictures. They actually shit together on the shelf. And of course, the next monster I got to do a comparison with, he sits next to him as well. So again, it's not absolutely perfect, but if I all I do is move things around and it'll look it'll look well enough. Now, this is the reason why I got the 1968 Godzilla, because y'all know how much I love my 30 centimeter Hedorah figure, and these two look perfect. Godzilla was smaller than Hedorah in the film, and to me, this size is up incredibly honestly of course i know i do have my hedora uh, photo shoot on my in, on my instagram godzilla train 1090 so i want to see those shoots go there and then of course my guy again shoot will be on is on there as well but yes i think these two look phenomenal together these two are like i said earlier with guy again these two sit next to each other on the shelf as well so they really do look really nice together i really love the way this hedora and this godzilla looks together they look phenomenal. And again, this 68 is absolutely flawless. So he works for both Hedora and for Gigan. It would have been nice to have King Hedora to be the same uh, size accurate, but it's okay. King Hedora, I think King Hedora still looks nice with Godzilla. You're seeing that Godzilla versus Gigan photo shoot I did celebrating that anniversary from of last year. I did that photo shoot um, 
a few weeks ago on my on my Instagram, and I think they looked good together. This these two look good, really nice together as well. So I'm really happy to have both of these in my collection. It's very very stunning to see these two together. And that's all I got. I'll go and give you the, the closing this video right now. Thank you. And we're back, and that's my review on the X Plus. 30 centimeter, 1968 Godzilla. So yes, I did go back and check my facts. I was actually correct. The original release for this figure came out in 2010, and then 2014, it got reissued. I'm 90% sure this is the reissue, because it does have 2014 stamped on its foot as well, which that's absolutely fine. I'm not a stickler for, for original releases and things like that. I don't care. As long as I got the figure in hand, I'm happy with it. And like I said, I, I really love this thing, like, a lot, actually. I'm... So, of course y'all know, and y'all have been through my videos, I had the 1968 Billy King kit as well. And honestly, that, that kit looks absolutely phenomenal as well. But something about this is just special. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Something about this figure, I just can't keep my eyes off of it. I love it i love it i really do i love 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 this figure can't wait to do more photography with it think of some more ideas because i mean again like this is one of the Godzillas i grew up with and again even though i don't love destroy all monsters i don't love Godzilla revenge i still enjoy i i guess i still watch those movies it's, it's still godzilla i still watch i still watch all the godzilla movies over a lot of other movies that i could watch so, it's not that I hate the strong monsters, Michael and Eric. It's just not on top of my Godzilla, my favorite Godzilla list, but I still enjoy the movie. I still watch it. Same thing with Godzilla's Revenge. I s s very, very eeny, teeny, beeny, wit, teeny, weeny bit, low-key hope that a Gabba does come out for this figure. That would be kind of cool. Because um, I do have, um, as you saw in the uh, as I saw in the size comparison, I do have Ang Angus to go with him. Vodan goes with him, but Vodan's a little big for him. And of course, I saw it with Hedora and Gigan. But of course, we gotta have the 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 the, la the first guy he fought. Well, not really, because King he fought King Ghidorah too. But they he got they they jumped him, so it didn't matter. So really, the first time we actually saw, saw this shoot in action, fighting another kaiju, uh, one on one. Was when he fought Gabra in Godzilla's Revenge, and again, yeah, and Gab Godzilla's Revenge is probably my second or third least favorite Godzilla movie. But again, I, I appreciate what they did with the movie. I appreciate the story behind it now. And Gabra isn't that bad of a kaiju. He's his roar is ugh. Y'all talk about Titanosaurus' his roar. Gabra has a ridiculous roar. So don't ever come at me again about Titanosaurus about listening to Gabra. But I, I'll digress. I'll digress. So it would be cool to have that with this Godzilla. I don't need a menu. I'm not going to get a menu, guys. Don't don't ask me in the comments that if I'm going to get a menu to go with this. I'm not. This would be late. This would be 70s Godzilla in my book. And honestly, I thought about... Actually, I had a party. I actually thought about getting two of these. A buddy of mine uh, ha has one that he's selling. I'm not going to say who it is yet because I may still change my mind and go get it. But I wanted to do a crazy custom cr uh, creation with that one, which I still might. So I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be. But if I do do it, you all see on the review. You all will see it on the channel. But that's my review on a 1960, 1968 X plus 30 centimeter Godzilla. Um, of course, as at the time of recording, I've got a lot of things. I I do have a few few more things like I want to review. Of course, we're always doing something on Monsters with Attitude every month. Dep uh, depending when this video is posted, um, I want to say our next show will be about the 30, 30 year anniversary 30 year anniversary of Jurassic Park. And I know that's very different from what we usually talk about on Monsters of Attitude. But I mean, come on guys. When y'all saw Jurassic Park as a kid, y'all knew that felt like a monster movie. <laughs> and Lord knows these the Jurassic World movies are giant mo are monster movies, basically. 
So I only use that as an opportunity to actually geek out about Jurassic Park because I absolutely love that series. I can talk about Jurassic Park for days. It's my one. It, Jurassic Park is definitely one of my favorite movies. I don't watch it all the time, but I at least try and pop it in once or twice a year. I love watching Jurassic Park. It's incredible. Um, but I guess that's all I got for y'all tonight. And I hope you have a fantastic night, Kaiju family. Mm -hmm.